Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of Emacs. So in today's video, we're going to be working with repeating tasks in org mode. So what does this mean, basically? Well, you, as you may already know, when you mark a task as a to-do item or something to be done that is active that you want to do, you can schedule it to happen on a certain day. And then when you've done it, if you don't want to have to rewrite a new item, you can just have the current one schedule forward by a certain amount in time. So I have here one month, one week, and also one week, but these can be days, they could even be, you know, down to like an hour. But, um, you know, months and weeks are good enough for these examples. Uh, but just keep in mind, you can use other units of time here. And you see, in order to make something repeat, we use these little plus signs here. So let's talk about what these, uh, these different signs mean here. As you can see, there's one plus sign here, there's uh, a period in a plus sign, and then two plus signs. So this is one of the areas where scheduling tasks in org mode is unlike uh, any other task or to-do list manager that, that I've seen you know, in other places. So basically, uh, for this task here, pay rent, you can see this needs to be done uh, a month later. So in order to demonstrate this, let me go back let me go back two months, actually. So when we look in our agenda here, we see now this is uh, this rental or this pay rent item is 60 days late. So we've missed two whole rent payments. So these need to be made up. So when I mark this as done, so you can see it jumped forward one month to the, the 1st of April, and we need to do it again. So actually, when we refresh the, the agenda here, so now it's only 29 days late, say we've paid this one now we mark it done when i refresh the agenda so you see now it no longer appears on the agenda for today because the, the next payment is due may 1st so we're all caught up now that has moved forward into the future so we can actually see if we go to the next week there it is monday may 1st that's tomorrow rent uh payment is scheduled so i want to make that payment all right now this one here is different the the call the folks task that only needs to be done, uh, let's say, once a week or wh whenever you need to to make this phone call, let's say. But we want it to jump forward a week into the future once the call is made. So you see, this was scheduled for Thursday, and I missed it. So when I mark this as done, it just needs to move forward, as you can see here, move forward one week from today, just so that um, it will remo remind me a week from now to do this phone call again. So I mark it as done. You can see it jumped forward now a week from today, which will be May 7th, another Sunday. So that one is done. When we open up the agenda, you can see now the call is done. It's not going to appear in our agenda until down here, May 7th. Call the folks. All right, so let's put that one down. So this one is different. This is a weekly review, let's say. And let's say you decide you want this to be done every Friday. So the outcome here is to do this review weekly on Friday. And here is the directive we're putting in here with the two plus signs. Move forward to precisely next Friday. So that would be uh, exactly like one week from the time this was scheduled. Not a week from today, as in the call the folks example with the dot plus. This is exactly one week from this last uh, scheduled date here. So when we mark this done, let's say, well, let's say we we missed that one. Are we going to do another review to make up for it? Uh, maybe, maybe not because it's Sunday. I missed it. Maybe I just want to be reminded next Friday. Either way, when we mark this done, it has jumped forward to May 5th, which is precisely what we want to be reminded this coming Friday of, of the, the week that we are about to start. So when we open up the agenda, you see all the to-do items are gone. But when we move forward to next week, we see we've got paying the rent on Monday. Weekly review is scheduled for Friday, exactly what we want. And, of course, on Sunday, we're going to do a nice call uh, home to the folks. So there you go. That is how you can use these different uh, scheduling uh, cookies here in order to set up repeating tasks that you're going to do in multiple iterations. Uh, there you go. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, feel free to leave them below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like and 
consider sharing this with someone who is having trouble with scheduling and you want to give them a polite nudge as a friend and say, look, you know, you, you need to get your life in order here. And, uh, you know, one of the ways you can do that is with org mode. But there you go. I will leave the video there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.